Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create like a wall effect for your sprites. They don't walk through walls, which is basically collision. That's a big word for you kids out there. So collision checking is what you would look up. So I'm just going to start with a little sprite here. He's going to be my player. This is the wall that I'm going to be using for this video and it is actually not a sprite but your wall could be a sprite if you want it to be this is actually a backdrop color so on my player you have your starting position or whatever and then I'm gonna have my forever loop so it always checks so basically it's like um, an FL situation we're gonna do here so So the first thing you want to do is go get your ifs. It's not really if then else. I don't know why I said that. It's just nested ifs. So it's basically the same thing over and over again in a way. Like you're going to check for left, right, up, and down usually. That's what I'm going to do. So if you press... <laughs> That's not the right block. So if you press like right arrow key and then you are touching Damn it, why do I keep grabbing the stupid wrong block? So if the right arrow is key pressed, you generally want to move by X in a positive fashion. But if you're touching that color, that means you're going against a wall. So you go like this, and therefore it works. So what you could do now is just duplicate it, make it the left arrow, and then put a minus, and then make it a positive, put it underneath, play, now I go here, and I go here. And the same thing goes for up and down. So you would just make this go up. And instead of X, you do Y. And minus. Say left, it's supposed to say down, and yeah. So you put this in here, so hit play. Now you can go, but you won't be able to go through the wall. That is how you do a wall effect collision for a player sprite inside of Scratch 3.0. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or video suggestions, leave them in the comments below because I do read them except for the mean ones. Have a nice day, guys, and good luck programming.